Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. Order. All rise. I'm going to start with you. With love in their hearts, they still call me little Faye. Didn't you know you were coming to court today? It doesn't have two M's in his last name, but people call him mommy. I don't understand what that means. As you can see, my face gets even smaller. I'm so strong, I can kick. Look at my muscles. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to, in a moment, get me the name of the best psychiatrists that we can find here, because this man clearly is psychotic. <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. It's the aroma of anarchy. It's the evolution in body soaps. Giving cream has never been so filthy. Pork passion. Passion. It's not easy being beautiful, but it's my burden to bear, really. Yeah. Passion. And now, the next case. I've had accidents before when I was a child. You are just a big nerd. Just a big unemployed nerd. When I was in the fifth grade, my teacher... <clears throat> Miss Montgomery said to me, Why are you looking out the window? And I said, I don't know. I'm just looking out the window. And Miss Montgomery said back to me, well, Wouldn't it be nice if we could all just look out the window? I thought to myself, Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, nerd, are you trying to out talk me? <laughs> it's not going to happen. Shh. I mean, you want to be an idiot. I'm older now and I've learned a lot since then. Don't, don't answer me back. Don't be a smart mouth. Then you're just a smart mouth nerd. One thing I learned is I didn't want to become a teacher. That's for sure. <laughs> Shut up. Now I have. Not I'm not talking to you. I've fallen off or jumped. See that? You know, you're blinded sad. from my eye. Uh. <laughs> Hustle, hustle, bustle. What the fudge pickle? Oh, hi, honey. I didn't hear you come in. Wow. Have you done something to your hair? Duh! How are you, anyway? How was your day? I've had a great day. I've just finished cleaning behind the fridge. Oh, and I hope you don't mind, but I did your hand washing for you. I know how much you hate to do it, so uh, I had a bit of spare time on my hands while I was waiting for dinner to cook. If I hear stories that I don't believe, that don't make sense to me, and at my age, I actually don't want to hear new stories that, you know, I have to conjure up in my imagination. I have to hear stories that somehow strike a chord of common sense. Why don't you sit down and put your feet up, and I'll come and rub them in a minute. Oh, hang on. I've just got to get something. Listen to me. Shh. I got these for you today. For no particular reason other than to tell you that I adore you. Aww. I know. <laughs> I'll go and put them in some water. Aww. Oh, do you want me to get anything for you while I'm up? How about a nice big slice of that chocolate cake in the fridge? You're looking so slim at the moment, I think you need to treat yourself. Otherwise, your clothes are going to be hanging off you soon. Then it won't be a case of... Give me. Does my... Give me. Here you go. I'll put it down here. Enjoy. So I can't bear skinny women. I just don't understand all the fuss that's made about these supermodels. If I believe that... You might have a case. I'm going to dismiss your case. One, two, three. Just like that. I used to be such a terrible person before you came along and made me change my ways. That's right. I couldn't live without you. Go. Oh. 